Hi, Sunny Bonani, Dumelang. I'm Sheila Verner. I'm making a water filter for grade three children to learn about water pollution and purifying water. I'm using a two litre bottle, a hammer, a nail, a piece of cotton wool, a piece of cotton cloth, a piece of elastic, a craft knife and scissors. I'm using glue scoops to scoop up fine sand, coarse sand, charcoal, gravel, batting and rocks and put them into my filter. Let's begin. First I'm going to cut with my craft knife the top of the bottle. Make a hole with the craft knife and continue with the scissors. Right the way round. And that gives me a bottle and a funnel top. Next I'm going to need to punch a hole into the lid for the, water, the filtered water to come through. So for that I use a hammer and a nail. Make two or three holes. Whoops, put the lid back on the bottom of the funnel. Now water can trickle through the layers and come out of the funnel. The first thing I put over my funnel is a piece of white cloth and put it, tie it on tightly with an elastic band. Then I can put my funnel into the bottle and the first item that goes in is a piece of cotton wool. That's the finest layer, so it needs to be at the bottom. On top of that, I'm going to put a layer of fine sand. One, two, three scoops should do it, maybe four. Another scoop for luck. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a layer of coarse sand. That holds the fine sand in place and stops it from moving all over the bottle when the water comes in. The next layer is probably the most important layer. It's charcoal. It has to be finely powdered charcoal. And please don't use charcoal that is pre-mixed for starting fires fast. The charcoal absorbs the smallest impurities in the water. After that, we need a layer of batting, and that is to hold the charcoal in place. And then coarse gravel to remove impurities that are slightly bigger, and to hold the batting in place. And the final layer is rocks, little pebbles and stones really. These would catch pieces of grass, pieces of leaves, the larger impurities in water. There we go. And that is a water filter, a rough water filter with layers in it. Important for South Africa because South Africa is a water scarce country and you may find yourself in a rural area where you have to use river water. The river water is not necessarily clean but you can clean it by making a filter like this. One important thing to notice is that you cannot drink this water even when it's been purified because Although the filter will take out all the physical impurities in the water, it will not take out the microbes and the germs that are invisible. So when you filter water like this, you can use it for cooking perhaps, you can use it for washing, but if you want to drink it, you do have to boil the water first. Please remember that. Thank you.
and have fun making your water filter.